Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Thursday morning, and last night was the perfect example of just because you're asleep between such a time and such a time, that doesn't mean that you actually slept or rested any. We all went to bed pretty early, like for us as a family, because my husband was exhausted from work. I had been up since four something along with the kiddo. So we were all beat. But that being said, everybody woke up this morning feeling exhausted. Kiddo has not stopped yawning. And like I said, or granted, um, everybody slept through the night, but I have a headache for the first time in like a week. I'd actually been keeping track because if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that uh, my headache days are pretty frequent. Like typically most days I have a headache as opposed to the alternative. Um, but for several days now, I had not had a headache all day long. I woke up with a headache today. Uh, I also had a really bad dream right before waking up. So maybe that had something to do with it. The fact that I woke up so abruptly and upset. But like I said, kiddo has not stopped yawning. My husband's been texting me telling me how like he just feels wrung out and he's just he didn't sleep well at all so i don't know um good news is the association granted us permission to put some sort of a barrier along the the gate outside so that the iguanas do not come in and keep messing with my plants um, I'm not sure what exactly we're gonna do because I toyed with the idea of just putting lavender plants out there and that wouldn't have required anybody's permission. But now that we can put some sort of barrier out there, I've got a brainstorm. Well, it's not just a matter of brainstorming. I guess we have to like go somewhere and see what our options are because I obviously want something effective, but something that's not gonna be an eyesore and I don't wanna pay a billion dollars for this. So, project. Uh, as far as today though, because that's not priority right now, that's just something that's in the works. Today's Thursday, so we've got two things scheduled. And I really hope that the rest of the day is gentle on us because I am not feeling my best. I do have to do some recording today though and um, a little bit of editing, but the editing should be light because like the more difficult part of editing these couple of videos is already done. So it's basically just, I have to record a couple intros and outros and then edit in those intros and outros. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. <sighs> and I wanna get a jump on cropping, I guess is the word. Um, putting together my sticker kit it suddenly got really bright in here. The sun came out from behind a cloud. Um, I want to do my, my best to kind of start the process of getting my stickers ready for July. So I'm going to do some of that today, some editing in that regard. But yeah, pretty much it should be a light day, all things considered, both between therapy and my to-do list. But, um... Yeah, hopefully I remember to pick up the camera. I try not to be too wordy on the vlogs that start on Thursdays because they're typically longer vlogs since I cover four days instead of three. And I'm still not sure what the plan is for the weekend, but typically we do something on the weekend and I wanna make sure that I can put all of that in there without the video running too long. So all that being said, I'm gonna for now. Happy Thursday. Whew, happy Friday, guys. Um, today's not gone at all like I'd hoped so far. Um, Fridays, you guys might know by now, we've got only one therapy scheduled and it's basically in the middle of the day. So I schedule myself in a way where it's like BT and AT before therapy and after therapy. So after therapy, I needed to do my planner video and hopefully edit it as well, um, depending on how long it would take me to record. And I also have a couple of recipes that I wanted to at least start recording because they require like, it's two day processes for both of them. And so I wanted to get some of it done 
so that it could like sit overnight and then tomorrow I could finish, etc. Um, but that meant that in the morning, things were pretty light, just typical like household things, um, watering the plants and so on. Things that I could do quickly enough that I could like sit and watch Stranger Things because the new, or not the new season, but the second half of the latest season came out today and I've been looking forward to it for weeks. I was hoping that I could sit and watch at least the first of two episodes before therapy. And even if I had to stop every once in a while to like, again, water the plants, do the household things, start the laundry, get the kiddo his fourth plate of breakfast, whatever, that I could at least make it through that first episode before therapy. But then I realized that one of my son's medications is really low and it's because it's one of the ones that we had to double the dose of, but the pharmacy did not fill the prescription for double the dose. They filled the old prescription. So this bottle of medicine is actually gonna only last a couple weeks as opposed to a whole month. Called the pharmacy, they said, we can't fill it. We literally just filled it. The only way for us to fill it again or fill it with the proper amount is you have to call your son's insurance and have them override it. Like basically give us permission to fill it twice in one month. And you have to explain to them that the reason that you're doing that is because the dose is wrong and you actually need more medicine than we gave you. So after waiting however long to talk to the pharmacist and have them tell me that, I call my son's insurance. I have to wait however long for somebody to answer me there. I tell them what's going on and they say, ah, I get it, hold on. Let me transfer you to the right place, which I was under the impression I was at the right place, but fine. So they transfer me somewhere to a man with a very heavy accent that I unfortunately did not understand a whole lot of. So we were having a lot of um, communication issues back and forth. Long story short, because it's an extremely long story. I was on the phone with this man for about 40 minutes and him constantly putting me on hold and going to talk to a supervisor, et cetera, et cetera, before he came back and told me, oh, the thing is that you need an override. You need to call your insurance company for that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I've been super clear this whole time that that's literally what I'm doing. I called my insurance. I said, I need an override. And they sent me to you. And I've told you in no uncertain terms, in extremely plain, like as, as plainly as I could, that this was the issue and this was the solution and so can you help me? And you said yes and so I've waited, I've spent an hour of my life till this point trying to get this handled only for you to tell me that I have to start all over? Like, oh, because this is a pharmacy. Well, why the hell am I talking to a pharmacy? I called my insurance and they sent me to you. I hang up on the guy, I call back, get somebody else, this person does not speak English, but that's fine because I speak Spanish and so does she. So I'm having to go through all these technical medical terms in Spanish, which is not easy for me, believe it or not. I kept tripping up my words and having to like switch channels back and forth on her and throw some English at her because I just couldn't defend myself otherwise. And um, yeah, so she kept trying to convince me, no, no, the first person did the right thing. What we're trying to get you to do is switch your script over to our in-house pharmacy. And I tell her, I understand that, but that's not what I want. I literally just want you guys to give our pharmacy permission to fill the script. Okay, okay, but let me explain to you again. And that's when I had to tell her, listen, just let's just speak in Spanish because holy God, like I get what you're saying. I think that you think I don't understand you because you know your English is broken, but I understand you. The thing is that you're not listening to me. Like I know what you're offering me. I don't want what you're offering me. I want this other thing that I know you can do. Bottom line is, it took about two hours of my life for her to tell me, oh, so if that's what you want, if you're insisting that that's what you want, yes, that is what I want, then your doctor has to be the one to petition us basically and say, this is why I'm changing the dose. This is why he needs a higher dose. And so I need you guys to fill this script for him. So basically everything that I just did, perfect, Mwah. but it can't be me. It has to be the doctor, which holy God, if the person I talked to an hour and a half ago had explained that to me, I could have saved all this time and just contacted his doctor. <sighs> 
I said it was a long story and that I was gonna try to make it short. Believe it or not, I did, even though I feel like I've been talking for a long time. Point is, I'm, I asked the doctor to go ahead and do that. I don't know if they're going to. I don't know if they're gonna do it today. It's right before a holiday weekend, so whatever happens, I'm sure that this is not gonna get resolved in a timely enough fashion for me. And it just sucks that I spent my entire morning in this mission only to not even actually really get it resolved and I didn't even get to watch Stranger Things. Therapy is starting in less than 10 minutes, so I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know how my day's gone so far. <sighs> Happy Friday. This mother f The basil and the rosemary are all basically dead. I had nursed the basil at least back to health partially. You see all that basil on the floor? That's because he was just chomping on the plant. And if you look out there, that's a sprig of rosemary that he helped himself to. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we need to sort something out. Oh, hold on, he has another friend out there waiting. Maybe that's the guy that took the rosemary. I wish you'd buzz off. Thank you, freaking jerks. Hey, palvies, happy Saturday morning. I was just, uh, doing the planner video because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. So that's handled now. So I figured I'd take advantage of the whole situation to pop in and say hello. <sighs> We've been up since 6.30 today because Kittle decided that was the thing to do. Um, we had a nice, very big breakfast. And like I said, I just did my planner video. I've done a couple little things around the house. I've actually gotten a lot done so far today, which is, Kind of nuts because it's not even 10 a.m. yet and at some point today we're meant to end up at my parents house because <laughs> my dad decided he wanted to buy whole fish like whole snapper and fry them which is a rare treat for us so i'm not sure exactly when that's happening and i haven't wanted to call my parents and ask in case they're still sleeping so i'm just kind of waiting for the go-ahead from them so that we could all start like getting dressed and ready and head out the door. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the plan today. I have some laundry that I need to fold because again, I washed yesterday, but I didn't get around to folding all of it. So I need to do that today as well, which I probably won't show you guys because I feel like that's boring as hell. <laughs> and um, what else? Yeah, I know laundry motivation videos are like, like some people enjoy watching them, I guess but maybe it's because I don't find laundry particularly, you know? So I don't find that I need motivation to do it. And so watching other people, like unless it's like a chat with me type deal, like if you're talking about something in particular while doing laundry, that's cool. But just, hey, watch me do laundry. Um, I do enough laundry. I don't need to watch other people watch. Same with clean with me videos. like. If you're gonna show me a new way of organizing something that I hadn't thought of, super cool. If you're going to tell me about your day, your week, your life, your thoughts on the Big Bang, stuff like that while you're cleaning, cool. But if it's just like, this is me sleeping. Look at me clean this, like that's not, that's not fun for me personally. Um, which is why I don't typically show you guys that sort of thing. If you'd like to see stuff like that, let me know. And I guess uh, maybe even give me a topic to talk about. And I will gladly sit on my couch, fold laundry, and have a one-sided conversation with you guys about said topic. But um, it would probably be a little awkward and a little rambly, but that's kind of me. I feel like if you're still here, you know that that's kind of my brand. So... Anyways, I'm rambling now because no amount of caffeine will save me today. <sighs> Happy Saturday. <laughs> Hey pals, happy Sunday. 
afternoon, I guess, because it's about 3 p I think it might be exactly 3 p.m. right now. Um, <sighs> it's been it's been a low-key Sunday. I've spent most of the morning cooking and, well, washing all the bed things, which is taking me absolutely, like, ages. <laughs> ages, because the dryer's taking so long to dry everything, but it's gotta get done. Ugh, I'm like super burpy because I've just had some coffee. If I don't have coffee, I'm gonna not make it through the day. So I'm in the middle of drinking an iced coffee right now. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I've been cooking all day, cleaning all day. We also watched the British Grand Prix this morning, which was just such an absolutely wild race. Before they finished lap one, there was such an intense crash that we legit, like not just us the audience, but like even the drivers themselves, did not know for about 20 minutes whether or not one of the drivers was Like it was a crazy, crazy crash. Um, and then the rest of the race, because luckily not only is he fine, but he seemed to have walked away completely unscathed, which the way that the crash happened, like if I can find, I'm sure I'll be able to find a video of the actual crash, Obviously, you know, trigger warning if this sort of thing is not something that you were wanting to watch, but I'll try to find a link of the actual crash and post it in case you want to see just how nuts it was. He actually, he got hit, like turned a bunch of times, like flew basically, or what was it? He like scraped upside down across a bunch of gravel and then I don't know what he hit, but at some point before he got to the barrier at the end, so he was for a long time, Something like, he must have crashed against something in the gravel because his whole car flipped up in the air, went over the barrier, and the car landed between the barrier and like a chain link fence. So basically what kept this car that's going like 180 miles an hour from going into the grandstand full of fans was a chain link fence because the actual barrier that was meant to keep all the cars in it just flew right over it. It was, I'm telling you, intense and really scary. And there were many points in that like journey he took where he could have been really, really seriously injured. And the fact that he literally just like super chill and he was back at the race, like he didn't actually race because his car was trashed, but he was back at the race before the winner was even announced. So absolute miracle. But, um, the driving, it was just nuts. It was, uh, I mean, accident notwithstanding, it was probably the best race of the season. So it was good. Um, <laughs> I was planning on spending the rest of the day continuing to do laundry, basically. And we're watching a Monty Python movie as a family, because why not? <sighs> so yeah, that's what I've been up to today. That's what I plan to be up to for the rest of the day. And you likely won't see me again until the outro, which I can't imagine I'll have too much more to say than I already did, but that's what's up. So happy Sunday. Hey guys, I'm actually back. It's later in the day and I'm back before the outro. I'm doing something a little bit strange right now. Let me make sure I'm in focus because it's kind of dark in here. All right, that's a little better. So <laughs> um, my mom and I were talking yesterday or my parents and I were talking yesterday when I was at their house because we were watching we love to all get together and watch uh, travel shows, but the kind of travel shows where the people just like stop and eat everywhere. And so uh, we watched a documentary where somebody went to Cuba. Okay, let's try this again. Kiddo came looking for me because <laughs> he's like, what are you doing here? Um, the reason I'm not doing this in the kitchen, by the way, is because I have the washer and the dryer going and it's just way too noisy over there for me to be able to talk to the camera and not just hear chuck, 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 chuck in the back. So, um, we watched a documentary where somebody traveled to Cuba and they literally went from one point, from the west end all the way to the east end of the island, stopping at different pueblos and eating typical foods from each of the towns um, along their trip. So it was super cool. One of the things that they ate on this trip is quimbombo, which I'm not sure if quimbombo is okra or is it okra stew, or maybe it's both. I've always used it interchangeably. The very few times in my life I've had to discuss Gimbombo because that's really random. But the thing is, I've never eaten okra or Gimbombo. 
um, because my mom really really hates it and she spent my whole life talking about how gross it is and how it's slimy and just ugh. so she's never made it and I've never had it and whenever my grandma's made it which my grandma apparently makes amazing gimbombo I've never tried it because ew it's slimy etc etc so they stopped at this pueblo and somebody made the made them gimbombo and we start talking about how man you know I think I want to try that like I'm curious and my dad's saying it's good it's good the thing is you have to know how to prepare it so it doesn't come out slimy but it's really good and my mom ugh. but because we had that conversation, my mom talked to my grandma and she was like, oh, you know, Desiree's curious about trying gimbombo. So my grandma went out and got all the stuff she needed to make gimbombo and she just dropped some off for me. So she came all the way to my house just to leave me gimbombo that she went out and got ingredients for and made just because I was curious to try it. So I thought, because she put so much effort into this, I would try it on camera and see how it how it goes. It smells really, really good. Let me get you guys in here real fast so you guys can see. See, it's like a very, very hearty stew. And it's basically just tomatoes, onions, I maybe some peppers in here, the okra, of course, and then it's got pork but I think it's pork and sausage, so it's like a bunch of different versions of pork. I mean, it's very thick too, like it's it's got like a super creamy consistency. I don't know what it is I'm eating to be honest, but I feel like pork, tomato, etc., etc. plus it's my grandma's cooking, so it's like, how could this be bad? But then again, I have no idea what to expect as far as what okra is gonna feel or taste like. So here goes trying to get a little bit of everything because to be completely honest I don't even know what's the okra because it's all kind of broken down so here goes mom you let me go wow you let me go my 30 some odd years of life without this that's definitely okra in there because I can see the seeds See, the seeds are right there. So that's definitely okra. Mom! <laughs> I am so mad right now. This is so good. <laughs> and you let me go so long without trying it. Oh my goodness. It t you know what it is though? Is that my grandma also makes um, frijoles colorado, like I guess like kidney bean or red bean soup or stew, potaje, whatever. I'm not sure how to describe it to you guys, honestly. But she makes kidney bean stuff. And it tastes exactly like this. And her kidney beans are bomb. So um, that's literally what it tastes like to me. Like I don't, I don't discern any difference in the texture or in the flavor. Because there's okra in here. Obviously there's no beans in it. So that's a big difference too. But... It's just so good. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest away for lunch tomorrow because supposedly it gets even better as it sits, but it's still really, really hot because she literally made it and brought it right over. So I wanted to make sure to taste it while it was still fresh. But um, yeah, gracias abuela, it's really, really, really good. Ahora cada vez que lo haga, vas a tener que traerme un poco. <laughs> I did not wait for lunch tomorrow. I just had it for dinner. It was really good. <laughs> I'm officially a convert. Hey there, friends. Happy Monday. It's July 4th. I had no intention or desire of stretching this video into today, but it so happens that I forgot to do an outro last night, and it also so happens that, you know, purely out of luck, the schedule for the week for uploads allows for me to continue this vlog into today. I can still put it up for you guys tomorrow. And then I don't have any collabs set for the week. So I can record the next episode Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, upload it Friday, and then the episode that follows that, instead of it being Thursday through Sunday, it'll be Friday through Sunday. So it should all still work out 
schedule wise, vlog wise, etc. And bright side is that this way the entire holiday long weekend is in one video, in one vlog. So there you go. Um, my parents invited us over, which works out because last night, like right before bed, my son asked to go over there and I was like, buddy, it's really late in the day. You know, we really can't today, but maybe tomorrow. So it's, it's all worked out. Um, I'm going to take our swim gear over in case we can maybe convince him to do some swimming. Um, because it feels like, right? Like it's appropriate. Um, I don't think we're going to get to do any fireworks today. I didn't get any. My parents didn't get any. Regardless, by the time it's dark enough for fireworks, we should be back home <laughs> and getting ready for bedtime because uh, it gets dark really late and wackest whackness ever. Um, festivities really are tonight, you'd think, right? Because you want to see fireworks, they have to happen at night. But tomorrow, we don't have the day off. We'd have to go right back into work and therapy as usual. And so foregoing bedtime or pushing back bedtime is really not possible tonight. So I can't make it dark any earlier. And I also can't help that tomorrow we have to go back to our regular lives. And so unfortunately, unless by some miracle, <laughs> we can look out our windows tonight and actually see fireworks, we're probably not gonna get to see fireworks tonight. So it just is what it is. That that couldn't, there's nothing I could have done about that because that was not a matter of improper planning. It just is what it is. What was improper planning is that I feel like today would have been a great day for s'mores. It's the last like summer holiday and s'mores just sound right. But I need very specific ingredients because of my uh, allergies and tolerances, etc. in order to, to make s'mores happen and I did not procure those things because it didn't occur to me until today that like, man, s'mores sound good, but alas. So that was in fact improper planning on my part. But regardless, that's what's going on. That's why we're still here in this video today. And uh, I guess let's see what we get into. So happy Monday. One's there and he's trying to fly in. He's bumping into the door like trying to fly in. Oh, hello, welcome back. These are the birdies that were born in our bathroom vent. Yeah, you know this is your home? I mean, sort of. So cute. There was another one. You, you can't live here though. You were born here, but this is, this is our house. You're a bird, you're supposed to be out there. All right, pals, it's Monday evening, the tub is going, and so we're wrapping up the vlog. Um, Kato did not want to go swimming today, as per usual, so we just hung out, had some lunch, which was wonderful, and came back home. Fireworks are going off now as well. Um, we're getting to see some from our balcony, which is nice, but they're not like organized. It's just people doing them in their homes. So it's kind of a crapshoot when they'll actually happen. Um, so, you know, it's, it's better than nothing. There they go again. Um, oh, we're watching Hancock because I had never seen it. My husband saw it once, like apparently when it first came out, however many years ago. And so I'm thoroughly entertained by that. We're about halfway through now and the big twist was just revealed. So I had to, we had to pause it so that I could get bedtime going. Um, but yeah, it's been a lovely day, nice weekend, very productive, lots of rest, the way that I like my weekends to be. Tomorrow, our week officially begins on Tuesday and we have three things scheduled. Um, the week just gets lighter from there. I have to begin my week by following up on stuff that I started last week that I got no resolution on. I'm pretty sure I mentioned some of it at the beginning of this video, so I won't bore you rehashing it, but that's certainly not fun. It's a little bit stressful, but it has to happen. So looking forward to that. 
but otherwise yeah the week should be good busy of course but again a nice mix of productive and hopefully rest i think i'm i'm doing good being very intentional about finding a balance these days so i'd love to know what you did this weekend i'd love to know how your week ahead is shaping up and hope you guys are staying safe out there I want to thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week, even on a holiday, and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!